elements compounds and mixtures today's objectives are define and explain elements compounds and mixtures with examples you have also explained differences between mixtures and compound a student you know the what is the matter our whole world composed of matter if this matter can be separated physically it will be mixture if it cannot be sep separated physically it be, will be pure substances pure substances can be chemically decomposed if yes is become compound if no it become the element now come to the mixture mixture may be uniform composition if yes it become the homogeneous mixture or solution if it do not having the uniform composition it will be the heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture further subdivided into collides and suspensions now come to the elements what is element a substance that cannot be converted to other simpler substances is called an element an element contain only one type of atom an element contain only one type of atom compounds a compound is a pure substances that consist of two or more elements held together in fixed proportions by natural forces called chemical bond a compound contain only one type of molecule a compound contain only one type of molecule for example water molecule carbon dioxide molecule ammonia molecule and methane molecule if we are talking about the water molecule all the water molecule having one oxygen and two hydrogen if we are talking about nitrogen uh, ammonia all the ammonia molecule contains one nitrogen and three hydrogen if we are talking about carbon dioxide it means carbon dioxide molecule having one carbon and two oxygen if you are talking about methane gas it means one methane gas molecule having one carbon and four hydrogen atom means compound are fixed in proportion their elements are fixed in number mixture an impure substance that contains two or more pure substances that retain their individual chemical characteristic means they are physically mix but chemical they are chemically they are do not mix a mixture can be separated by physical method here is example of sub mixture we observe that a molecule having similar type of element a molecule having different type of element and these are the mixture of different molecules and compound mixture as we already discussed as mixture may be heterogeneous or homogeneous here is a example two types of element present in scattered way they do not present a fixed proportion homogeneous mixture they are uniform in nature here they do not present in uniform uniform form and here they are arranged in uniform homogeneous mixture a mixture consists of only one phase is called a homogeneous mixture homo means same a mixture having only one phase same throughout the solution is known as homogeneous mixture we having some examples here heterogeneous mixture heter means different a mixture that consist of two or more vis more visibly different components is called a heterogeneous mixture here we observe two phase three phase 
different phases salad is the best example of heterogeneous mixture in which we can observe each component physically now come to the differentiation between compounds and mixture as we know compounds are chemically bounded inside the compound elements are chemically bounded inside the mixture element or compound do not chemically bonded it is formed by chemical combination of atoms of the element what about the mixture mixtures formed by the simple mixing up of the substances the constituents lose their identity and form a new substance having entirely different properties from them mixture shows the properties of the constituents compounds always have fixed proportion by mass mixture do not have fixed proportion the components cannot be separated by physical means we are not able to separate hydrogen on and oxygen in the water molecule by physically the components can be separated by simple physical method but if we have salt and water solution we can easily separate it by physical method by evaporation heating and evaporation okay every compound is represented by a chemical formula for example chemical formula of water h2o chemical formula of sugar c12 h22o11 chemical formula of so salt common salt nacl it what about mixture it consists of two or more components and does not have any chemical formula because they are irregular in nature they no, do not present in the fixed proportion compounds have homogeneous composition whereas mixture they may be homogeneous or heterogeneous in composition what about compound compound have sharp and fixed melting points we can identify with the help of melting point mixture do not have sharp and fixed melting point because they are form of different types of substances in different ratio example of compound baking soda methane salt nacl example of mixture alloy like brass salt and water mixture of gases here is a example of mixture different color of jelly beans present in the form of mixture now student you, you are able to define elements compounds and mixture you are able to differentiate between mixtures and compound and you are able to compare homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture just recap what is element a substance that cannot be converted to other simpler substance is called element what is compound a compound is a pure substance that consists of two or more element held together in fixed proportion by natural forces called chemical bond and what is mixture an impure substance that contains two or more pure substance that retain their individual chemical properties how many types of mixture are there there are two types of mixture homogeneous mixture having only one phase and heterogeneous mixture having more than one phase or more than one appearance you have a worksheet here identify compounds elements and mixture what is the direction how you can solve place a check in the correct box to indicate the classification of each form of matter these are some substances and you have to identify either they are elements they are compound or they are mixture okay